Hey there peeps, Sint are here. Today I have a really unusual video about not the less unusual mod, which, contrary to many mods with, let's say, loud names, stands for it on 100%. I actually wanted to make a video about it for like a year, but only now found a bit of time to finally make it. So what's it about? At the first glance, it may look like I'm playing on the lowest settings possible with like 64 pixel textures, but it is not quite so. I'm almost sure many of you actually heard about this mod and visited its page at least once, but also almost sure that most never actually played with it. Meet the Skyrim Artistic Overhaul, probably the most original texture mod you have ever seen. It covers the vastly majority of textures in the game, having over 33 thousands of files, just imagine the amount of work, to give the game the touch of painting. While at the one hand, many textures indeed are looking low resolution, the mod wasn't made for potato rigs in first turn, while indeed it can save you plenty of FPS compared to regular texture mods. If you look closely, you can notice that most of textures are not just something single colored, but a hand painted patterns, which give the game that somewhat cartoonish, Pixar-like look, like the objects in the game were actually drawn by a hand with paints. While it is clearly a mod not for everyone, it gives the game that sweet touch and, how to say that, some sort of safety, childhood feeling, something magical. It's like you're still in Skyrim, but dived into an all-good Pixar cartoon at the same time. It covers almost everything in the game – landscapes, armors and weapons, characters, small things like furniture and potions, and even visual ethics like fires and spells. Honestly, at first I was having some really weird feelings when playing with it, but after like 20 minutes I dived into exploration without looking back, simply staring at moving clouds or paint-looking fire particles. Even though I probably would never make an actual walkthrough with this mod, and sometimes it feels like a quirky LSD trip, but on the other hand, this creation is what's modded all about in its nature – creativity, originality and transformation of the game into something absolutely different. I can only salute mad respects to its author and can heartily recommend everyone to try it at least once if not for a complete walkthrough, but for sure for a few bewitching screenshots and the same bewitching feelings. I'm leaving a few more shots for you to watch on to feel it better and decide whether it's something for you or not. Cheers!